Hello, everybody. It's me, Shannon LaBruyere. I am live and loving it tonight. Welcome to Sunday Night Live and welcome to the Thrive and Change process where we equip you to thrive in the change you like and the change you don't because both kinds of change can help us grow as people, help us grow in our ability to have impact, help us grow in our ability to understand ourselves and others better. There is a lot of value in change, but we need to learn how to take advantage of it and thrive in it. And that's why you're here. So welcome. Jump in and say hi in the comments. Ah, oh, happy day, says Carol. Welcome, Carol. I'm so glad you're here. Drop your name and a hello in the comments. I would love to know that you're watching. And welcome to what Christians are celebrating today is Easter Sunday, Resurrection Sunday, and it has been a glorious day. Oh, hi, Kelly, and happy Easter to you, too. It's been a really terrific day. And in fact, just this whole week leading up to Resurrection Sunday, I have been thinking about the power of resurrection, the power of, of life, and how it is amazing how sometimes something that we thought was so dead all of a sudden like starts to percolate and you go, wait a second. I thought that opportunity was long gone and bam, here it is again saying hello. So life is like that. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about your hopes and your dreams and what maybe needs to be resurrected in your life. And this might be a shorter Sunday night live, but it'll still be powerful. So welcome and let's get started. All right. So before we go too far, I need to brag on some roast coffee. It is the best coffee ever. And you are able to get your own bag of thumb roast coffee. You can get it ground for you or you can get it whole bean as I do so that I can grind it myself. You can get your own thumb roast coffee at thumbroastcoffee.com and you'll get a discount if you use the code THRIVE, T-H-R-I-V-E. You'll get 15% off of your online order. I encourage you to do that. I've said it before. I'll say it again. I start looking forward to my morning coffee when I go to bed at night. It's that good. So <clears throat> I encourage you visit thumbroastcoffee.com, plug in that THRIVE discount code and get your 15% off. You will not be sorry. All right. Yes, thumbrosecoffee.com. Thanks for popping that in the comments, Carol. Okay, let's get started. Tonight's hashtag for our Thrive Principle is hashtag bring the honor. Hashtag bring the honor. So Christians were celebrating Resurrection Sunday today. And we're going to focus a little bit on resurrecting hopes and dreams. And this applies to you, whether you are a Christian or not. This idea of new life, it's so exciting. Spring automatically starts pointing us into that direction, doesn't it? The weather gets a little warmer. The plants start to um, put their little leaves out. Some of the flowers start to bloom. And all of a sudden, here in Michigan... Uh, we were lambasted with three inches of snow on April 1st. So talk about an April Fool's joke, right? Michigan, you can't trust her. Our weather is, is very unpredictable here. So we had beautiful spring. The flowers are starting to bloom. Kids are out there in their, in their shirt sleeves, riding their bikes. It was amazing. And then out of nowhere, I wake up in the morning, April 1st, three inches of snow. But you know what I knew? This is what I knew. That snow wasn't going to last. <laughs> that snow wasn't going to stick around forever. How do I know? Because in Michigan, spring doesn't stay sprung <laughs> until the middle of April. But once it gets started, it doesn't go back. It's just how the weather is, right? We know that eventually... Here in Michigan, summer's coming. Kelly th sum, uh, sums it up. Tiger fans, Detroit Tiger fans, opening day was April 1st, and they had terrible weather. 
That said, we know it's not going to stick a lot, stick around. And it would have been a mistake for me to get up on April 1st and say, well, the whole year is blown. It's going to be miserable for the whole year. We're going to have terrible weather for the whole year, right? It would have been foolish to do that. Why? Because we know as summer comes along, it's going to warm up. The snow is going to melt. We're going to get some rain. Those flowers are going to bloom. That three inches of snow, it was temporary. It was discouraging. It didn't feel great, but we knew it was going away. We knew it was going away. So I want to encourage you right off the bat that whatever season you're in, it's going to pass. This too shall pass. It may be challenging. It may be difficult. It may be miserable. It, it may be fantastic. You're riding the wave. Everything you've done so far has been a success. You're just like, yes, this is incredible. The seasons come and the seasons go. I want you to understand that because it is tempting when we get into that snow season, when we get that surprise three inches of snow that ruins our great plans to go out and have hot dogs and, and sit in the sun and watch a baseball game. When that happens, it can be tempting for us to just throw it all away and say, wasn't worth trying. I don't even know why I bother. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It's important for us to understand that there are seasons. There are seasons. And the hashtag that we're using today, hashtag bring the honor. A lot of times I ask you to apply that in bringing the honor when you're dealing with other people. And it's absolutely true. And it's 100 percent true that we need to bring the honor when we're dealing with other people. But I want you tonight to bring the honor when you're talking to yourself. I want you tonight to bring the honor to you, to your dreams, to your hopes, and to those things that you may have got discouraged and decided it'll never happen and it's not worth it. I'm here to tell you that you can bring the honor to those situations and there will come a time when they pop back up when the snow melts, when you see the flowers again, it will happen. But you have to bring the honor, not just to the other people. They're not the only ones who deserve it. You can treat yourself with honor. What you care about, what you love, what you dream about, those things matter. So this is the first thing I want you to know. This is what I believe about people. I believe that they deserve my best, that they are valuable in and of themselves just for being people, right? And so this is how I show up for them. This is how I show up for every client that I have. I believe they have value. They have, they're important. And so I want to tell you the three of the things that I bring to every human interaction I have, and that includes the interactions that I have with myself. And if you're struggling a little bit in how you're seeing yourself in your dreams right now, I want you to know that I believe in you. I believe in you. And you can borrow some of my belief. You can borrow some of mine. All right. If you're running short, you can borrow some of my belief. So here are the things that I bring to every interaction, whether it's a client or a friend, a cashier, a person on the street. This is what I know. You are precious. You are precious. Your humanity is beautiful. Your strengths are amazing. Your flaws are precious. Your journey is precious. You, my friend, are precious. You are valuable. You are valuable. Uh, somebody says, I'm having self-confidence issues today. Kelly, well, you're in the right place. I want you to know you are precious. Your mistakes are precious. <laughs> your flaws are precious. Your successes are wonderful. Your humanity is a beautiful, beautiful thing. 
It is what makes you who you are and you are precious. The second thing that I want you to know is you are unique. Nobody is like you. Nobody. We know this up here, right? We know this, but do we know it in our heart? Do you believe that about yourself? Do you believe that you are precious? You're precious to God, but you're also precious to me. Just because you are. And you can acknowledge that in yourself. You can acknowledge just how precious you really are. What an amazing person you are. The amazingness, the amazingness of your body and your brain and your heart. You're amazing. You're precious. You're valuable. And you are unique. You are special. There is nobody wired like you. There are people sort of like you, but nobody is just like you. Nobody brings all of the same stuff that you bring to any interaction. The experiences that you've had coming along, those make you unique. Your journey makes you who you are. And there is a reason for all of it. It's going to work together for good for you. But we have to quit beating ourselves up for being unique. When I started working for the Postal Service, um, I lifted heavy things. I drove a forklift, wore work boots and leather gloves and a hard hat, and I unloaded trucks. It was a very cool job. It was a very important job. It was very useful. And it didn't light my fire. Anybody ever been job like that? A job that didn't light your fire? <laughs> Hi, Corey. I'm glad you're here. Um, anybody ever been in a situation like that where you were in a position where you thought this is this is just totally not me. I, this is not my gig. I do not like this at all. Well, um, I didn't mind doing what I did, but it it didn't set my heart on fire. And I through some really attentive managers, some, some leaders in my life that paid attention to me, I was able to get off of that dock loading trucks and unloading trucks and get into a position where I was able to work to my strengths. And pretty quickly, I was in charge of public relations for our entire district which was amazing. I was the <clears throat> official postal spokesperson, which sounds important. And actually it was, it was important. It was a great job and I loved it. There was something that just set me on fire with being able to talk to the public about the good that the postal service does in the world. And I still believe that to this day. Uh, I loved being able to work with customers who are maybe having issues and all of that actually set me up to start coaching and training in communication and working with higher and higher levels within the postal service. So it was a beautiful thing all the way around uh, and I loved it. And then when I took the DISC behavioral assessment, and if you've never had the DISC behavioral assessment, it's amazing. Uh, and uh, I would be happy to talk with you about it because it opened my eyes because I took the disc behavioral assessment. And when I looked at it, it actually said on that paper, you are uniquely equipped to be a great spokesperson, not because of the skills that I had, but because of the way my personality was wired. And I thought, Holy cow. No wonder I loved that job so much. That's how I'm wired. Well, you, my friend, are uniquely wired. And there is a reason why you are how you are. And, and this is important, I want you to just receive this. There is a reason why you are wired like you're wired. And it is so that you can do what you have been called, designed to do. All of the things that you beat yourself up for, are actually things that point you in a direction of how am I wired 
How am I unique? This is how I make my dent in the world by being this unique, special, individual person. You are unique and special and your individuality is there for a reason. This is where the resurrecting dreams comes in. Those dreams that you have, they're yours for a reason. They're not accidental. Those dreams come to you. Those hopes that you have for the impact you can have on the world, maybe the job that you think you would love to have, maybe the family that you want to be a part of, maybe the, the church you want to start, whatever dream is in your heart, you've got that dream because of your experiences, because of your personality, because of, of your faults even, because of everything about you comes together. I can't emphasize this enough. Every little piece of your life contributes to that uniqueness. And that uniqueness is what births your dream. It's why you want what you want. I know people who are never happy if they can't travel. Their, their heart's desire is to travel the world. They, they show me their passport and say, look at I've got another country. And they're so excited about it. And just between you and me, if I never leave the United States, I'm really good with that. My heart isn't calling me to travel. That's, that's not what I desire. I love a good trip. I want a vacation. But I don't have wanderlust. I'm not one of those people who, who is just born to, to travel the world. I am who I am. So guess what? I don't dream about traveling the world but I know some of you do. I know some of you dream about traveling the world almost constantly. Does that mean you're wrong? Shannon doesn't want to travel the world. I must be wrong. No, it means you're you. You're unique. Bring the honor to the way you look at your dream and the uniqueness of it. Yes, it might seem weird. That's okay. It's all right if it's unique. Is this resonating with anybody? Have you thought to yourself, that is the most ridiculous dream? <laughs> That's ridiculous. I could never do that. I'm here to tell you, don't bury that dream. <laughs> April Fool's Day snowfall. Dust it off. Let some sunshine in. Because your dream is given to you for a reason. And it is yours and uniquely yours. It's not somebody else's. They don't get to hand you your dream. Your mom and dad don't get to hand you your dream, even though sometimes they think they can, especially if they're writing the check for that education, right? But at the end of the day, they don't get to. You are the one who knows what you dream of. You know what your hopes are, and they are unique to you. And I want you to honor that. I want you to honor that. So let's see what your thoughts are here. So we got some highs and that's awesome. Uh, Carol, Carol says this. She says, I love home. There is nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. And Carol, there's people in your family who love to roam, don't they? <laughs> unique. You are unique. You are unique and you're unique for a reason. And I want you to honor that uniqueness because I do. And I know God does. You are special. You are precious. Your journey is precious. Every mistake, every pothole you stopped, stepped in, all of it is precious. And it's contributed to where you are right now. And it has contributed to you being you. There's a reason why you're wired the way you're wired. Oh, Carol, my passport is blank, she says. Well, so is mine, Carol. <laughs> not going to say I'll never travel, but it's not my heart. It's not my heart. But you know, each of you know, Kelly, Corey, you know what your heart is. You know what you dream of. I'm here to tell you that dream isn't dead. It was covered up with a little bit of snow, but it's time to resurrect it. Bring the honor to that dream. You've got it for a reason. Nobody else has the same dream as you. It might look similar, but it is not similar because they don't bring all of the unique qualities that you bring to your dream. Your dream matters. I want you to honor that. All right. And number three. 
first of all, you're precious. Second of all, you are unique and you are unique for a reason. And number three is this, you have a purpose and your dream is a part of your purpose. Your dream is a part of your purpose. Bring the honor to your dream. Don't poo-poo it. Don't dismiss it. Don't think it's stupid or dumb or roll your eyes. Don't let anybody tell you that it's less than. Don't let anybody tell you that it's less than, than because that's not a call they get to make. If you dream of having an impact on somebody or something, honor it. You might be the only person who feels that way. It might never get done if you don't honor that dream that's burning in here. Don't deprive yourself of the opportunity to be significant. And I think I've been, well, I know that I've been thinking a lot about this idea uh, since I started preparing for live stream leadership, uh, our new sessions start on April 10th. So they start this coming Saturday. And we're taking a dive into this idea of do I have a career or do I have a calling? And how do I shift? I'm doing a job. I'm making money. I've got a paycheck. Shannon, working the dock at the Postal Service and getting a paycheck and getting benefits, the reasons why I started working there were legitimate reasons. I was young, I had a family, I wanted to do something that I knew was gonna pay off in the long term, and it did, I'm grateful. But I started out with a job, and I was able to shift and start pursuing my calling. And I'm not alone. I am not alone in that. I want you to know your dream matters, and you are allowed to shift from a career to a calling. You get to do that. And if you need help with that, I am more than happy to speak into your life. I am more than happy to talk with you about that, what that looks like. And for those of you who feel like you're stuck in your job, that it's just a J-O-B, that you are just getting a paycheck, I would love for you to jump into live stream leadership between now and Saturday, because it's going to blow your mind. It is going to blow your mind. What power there is in actually being able to say, I am pursuing my purpose instead of just putting in my time. If you're sick of putting in your time, now is the time to jump into live stream leadership because we are going to talk exactly about that shifting from career to calling. But even if you're work in the job you love, even if you're in a, a, a position, a role that you're satisfied with, I just want you to know that there's more for you. There's more for you to do. You're capable of more and it's okay to want more. It's okay to want to be significant. It's okay to feel this compelling desire to chase something amazing it's okay to dream. It's okay to dream. And I'm inviting you to bring the honor to your dream, that you would respect it for what it is. It is a message from God saying there's more for you. I created you for a purpose. I have called you for a reason. I have shown you where you're supposed to go. Do it. Bring the honor to your dream. It is not an accident that you want what you want. It's not. It is not an accident that you crave to travel the world or that you want to start your own design business or that you're so enamored with Pampered Chef that you just can't wait to show people the cool things that they can make with all of their cool tools. You get to have your dream and it is unique to you. And I want you to bring the honor to your own dream. I want you to bring the honor to your own dream. So let's catch up with some comments. Carol loves your dream matters. That is a powerful statement. And talking a little bit about the disc assessments here. So um, let me see. I love the disc assessment too. If anybody on here has not had that done, 
I can work with you on that. Absolutely, I can. Um, it is a great tool, like Corey says, it's a great tool uh, to better understand myself and others. So if you are wondering, like, what do I want? Understanding yourself better is a really great place to start, isn't it? All right, let's see. We've got this from Corey. Bring the honor. The honor is not reserved only for others. Yeah, it's a great reminder that we need to honor ourselves just as much as we honor others. Yes. Oh, and Kelly comes out with the truth right here. Sometimes it's easier to think small. Yes. Yes, it is. It feels safer, doesn't it? feels safer to, to think small sometimes. This is the thing. I am a big fan, a big fan of dreaming big and thinking big and then taking small actions toward that big dream because those small actions compound. There comes a point, there always comes a point on every journey toward a dream where you've just got to take a big step. But when we're getting started, it's okay to take the small ones. Something that gets us moving, helps us to not think small. And Carol says, and Carol, I second the motion right here. Um, join the live stream leadership classes. They are worth what you pay for them. Carol's been in live stream leadership since its inception. She is a founding member. Um, it affects not only you, but others in your life and your outlook on life and work and even rest. All 100% true. If, if you're craving, if you are craving a life of significance, the best place that you can put your growth efforts is in learning how to lead yourselves and others better. And you don't have to do that with me. But I will tell you that if you decided to join us and do it, you will not be sorry. It is powerful, profound, and amazing. The most important thing is this. However you do it, honor your dream. Don't let anybody steal it from you. It matters. It's unique to you. It is precious because you are precious. Corey says, there is an aha moment every week in, li in live stream leadership. There really is. And aha moments are some of our favorite things. Um, if you are experiencing an aha moment tonight, that you're thinking to yourself, oh my word, I do have a dream and, and I thought it was dead, but I'm sort of feeling some stirrings. You might be feeling them. I'm feeling some stirrings like, you know, maybe I need to, to bring that out and brush it off a little bit. I would love to hear about it. I would love to share the joy with you that your dream is coming out of the closet. It's coming out from the basement. You're digging it up from the graveyard of, of who knows what else you got back there in your buried hopes and dreams. You're going to go out and get it, dig it up, brush it off and take a good look at that and bring the honor to your dream. Bring the honor to your dream. It deserves it because you are a person of honor who's designed for a purpose, is called to do good things. And if you will give yourself permission to dream a little and take a few action steps, you are going to be astounded at the difference, the shift that you make from just having a career, a day-to-day, -day, I just go through the motions, whether you get paid for it or not, that drudge of life, exchanging that drudge of life, just putting in time for something that is satisfying, invigorating, impactful, significant. I'm telling you, <laughs> you'll never go back. <laughs> so with that, I want you to have a wonderful, wonderful night. Thank you for tuning in on this Resurrection Sunday. I am excited to hear about your resurrected dreams. If you want to jump into live stream leadership and start digging into the topic of shifting from just having a career to actually living out your calling, just shoot me a lot message, drop it in the comments, tell me more, and I will get back with you, send you everything you need. All right. With that, you guys, take care. God bless you. Have a wonderful week. Bye.